Hello and welcome to the short introduction to Service Insight for N-Service Bus. Service Insight is a new product from particular software, the makers of N-Service Bus, providing essential insights and tools for developing distributed software applications and solutions using N-Service Bus. In this short video introduction, we will cover the basic features of Service Insight and see how it enables you, the developer, to better understand, visualize, and debug your distributed applications. In order to illustrate Service Insight's capabilities, let's first examine the video store sample. The video store sample comes with every installation of N-Service Bus and you can locate it in the sample subdirectory. It simulates a video store that allows you to select and purchase various N-Service Bus related videos and recorded presentations. We can check the videos we would like to purchase and then we can place an order by clicking on the place order button. Now this sends a message to the back end of the sample application with the specific instruction that an order has been placed. After the order has been placed, the customer is allowed to change his mind within a buyer's remorse period of 20 seconds. The customer has 20 seconds to cancel the order by clicking the cancel button, and as you can see, the 20 seconds have elapsed, and now the purchase has been fulfilled. This uh, buyer's remorse feature has been implemented using N-Service Bus Saga's features, and we will see later how this is visibly shown using Profiler and Insight. As you can see, 20 seconds have elapsed and the order is, was processed and the download link was provisioned and provided. The order is therefore completed. We can place another order, like so, and another one. We can cancel this one, and this one is still pending. And again, once the buyer's remorse period is over, we will see that it has been completed successfully. Now if we take a look under the hood of the video store sample and look at the code inside Visual Studio, we'll see that there are a lot of uh, moving parts in there. Uh, there are quite a few projects, each containing an endpoint and code that's responsible for doing various things inside that endpoint, etc. And uh, as well structured and well organized as this, as this code may be, there's still quite a bit here and it's, uh, it's not as easy as it should to understand what it's doing, what its responsibilities are, and how this code behaves. And this is where Service Insight comes into the picture. Let's get to know it a bit more before we deep dive into its features. Over here, I can see that I'm connected to an endpoint explorer, to an endpoint service, and to a management service that provides this endpoint data. The management service I'm connected to provides the backend auditing and functionality used by Service Insight. The management service is a Windows service and you can manage it from the Windows services tools inside Windows. You can see here that there are various endpoints associated and provided by this management service. And these endpoints and their data is created automatically and gathered automatically when I developed and debugged the video store sample and any other sample or application that uh, uses N-Service version 4. If I select a specific endpoint, I'll be able to see the various message, messages sent by this endpoint and their data. Below the message list on the top, I can see the flow diagram at the bottom. And currently what I'm viewing is a specific video sample, video store sample flow, uh, the same video store sample we've seen and reviewed previously. And I, now I can see how it actually looks, how the flow of messages actually looks visually. So let's focus a bit and see how it goes. So we've got a submit order, sending an order placed, and buyer's remorse is over. It's initiated after 20 seconds. I can see that when I hover above it. You can also see that this message was deferred using a, an N-Service bus saga. It was deferred for 20 seconds until the buyer's remorse period was over. Currently, I'm viewing the order accepted message. And once that order accepted a message has been processed, it was also provisioned a download response was sent and the download was ready. So by viewing this entire process, I can actually see the flow of the messages as they move along through the uh, conversation. And in here, I can see the message properties, various properties including the message body, the header, the complete header content. I can see performance information like critical time, delivery time, processing time, and when they actually occurred. If there were some errors or whether there was a gateway or saga involved, I can also see that information as well. What I, can, what I can also do is I can copy the conversation ID by simply clicking here and I can search for that conversation ID and I can filter and view only the messages 
related to this specific conversation and I can browse through them and basically focus on a specific conversation and the messages involved in that specific conversation. If I'd like, I can see the body of the message itself, each and every message. And what I can also do is start playing around and see how this is actually generated dynamically when I activate my video store sample. And this is what we'll do next. Going back to the end service bus video store sample, let's see how service insights can help me understand what's going on under the hood of the, the specific uh, end service bus application. I'll select a couple of videos I'd like to purchase and then I'll place an order. And once that order has been placed, I can refresh my view. Excuse me. Let's click on the refresh button here. I can refresh my view and see the updated order. Here you can see that it was just submitted. And on the sample side, I can see that the bars more spirit is currently going on. As soon as it completes, I can refresh and I can see that the process is being updated and the other messages have been sent as well. And I can see that dynamically. I can see also whether uh, the message was canceled. So for example, let's click on a couple of those and submit a couple of orders. And as I update, I can see that it's going on. Let's do a, let's cancel one of them. And I can see that the cancel order has been accepted. The other one should be completed within a couple of seconds. We can see that on the top uh, window as soon as, it, as that happens. And we'll also be able to see it down here. And here we go. So. The bottom line here is that as soon as something happens on in the video store application, I can see uh, it visually inside the service insight window. And this also uh, is extremely beneficial, not only for monitoring processes as they go along and they go along well, but also when something goes wrong, which is the next topic we'll review. Now let's see what happens when things do not work so well, when errors occur and how I can identify and recuperate from these errors using service insight. I can now see that there are some successful messages that have been processed, but also looking at the status column here, I can see that there are various strange icons here with an orange color saying failed and even red saying repeated failures, as opposed to the successful messages in green. And if I select one of those messages, I can see in very bright red uh, colors that indeed there was some sort of an error. I can get the information for that error by going into the message properties and looking at the exception info. Uh, this, me this message was failed as a result of an exception saying, oops, I did it again, that occurred in the submit error order handler. And I can get the entire call stack, the location of the error, etc. So let's go into the code and see whether I can fix it inside the code itself. So sales endpoints, submit order handler file, and yes, this seems to be the place where the exception was raised, and hopefully I can fix it by simply changing the value of this variable. So let's save it, rebuild, restart, let's go back. And I'll select the message, right click, and do a retry. Now, what happens is that the retry sends the message back to reprocessing, and it will go through the same processing as before. While it's being reprocessed, I can see that a retry has been requested for this specific message. And hopefully, within a couple of seconds, after a remorse period is, uh, is performed, I'll be able to see the message being processed successfully. And yes, let's refresh the view here. And yes, indeed, I can see that it has been processed. Once this message has been uh, successfully reprocessed after retrying, I can do the same for the other ones as well. Each in its turn is going through the same retry process. I can see that each is being reprocessed. And regarding the repeated retry, message message that indicates that it has been repeated repeatedly retried before resent before for reprocessing i can do the same although it should be uh, taken with a bit more careful attention that a retry may cause some damage 
or some issues from the business point of view, from the point of view of actually resending, retrying messages over and over again. In a second, it should also be successful. Yes, and it will go through the same process as all the other messages. One of the main advantages of Service Insight is that it allows us to identify anomalies in the message flow even without exceptions being raised or errors being explicitly uh, identified. For example, here I can see a correct message flow for the video store sample purchasing process. I can see that there is a single download is ready message here and it follows a correct flow of the messages as I would expect them and it's quite easily understood and uh, comprehensible. However, in certain cases, and let me jump to a second uh, message, and a more recent message, in this case I can see that the flow has changed a bit as a result of some code change which I've made in the underlying code. Over here I can see a second download is res ready message, and I can see that there is already a download is ready message here. So what happened here is that I accidentally, well for the purposes of this demo it wasn't accidentally, but still, Accidentally, I replicated the code that sends this specific message. Now, this may be a huge issue, it may be a non-issue, but uh, in your code, for example, if this was a credit card purchasing and charging uh, message, then I would have charged the customer twice for the same purchase, which is not a good thing to do. From the point of view of the code, no exception has been raised, there isn't any error, but from the point of view of the message flow, I can see it very clearly that this process is not the same as any other process. I can ident identify it and handle it appropriately. Until now, we've focused on the Endpoint Explorer and its features. Endpoint Explorer works with End Service Bus version 4. However, along with End Endpoint Explorer, we also ship in Service Insight to the Queue Explorer and the Queue Explorer tab. The Queue Explorer allows you to manage uh, MSMQ messages and queues and connect to machines that have MSMQ installed on them and manage them directly without going through in service bus. This allows you to use uh, in service insight with a queue explorer against any MSMQ version without any reliance or prerequisite for installing in service bus 4. You can see the various messages, you can manage the queues, create the queue, delete the queue, purge the queues, delete the messages, etc. You can have them automatically refreshed every couple of seconds, and if you go to the error messages, you can also do the equivalent of a retry for the MSMQ, which is the return to source functionality, which is similar to the uh, command line, return to source command line that has been shipping with uh, end service bus for quite a while. What it does, it basically sends the uh, message directly from MSMQ to be reprocessed by the awaiting endpoint. This again is not reliant on end service bus and it can work directly with the MSMQ service. In this short introduction to Service Insight, we've seen some of its features and capabilities. The endpoint explorer, the message flow view, the message properties and detailed information on message conversations whether successful or failed, and how we can identify such failures and recover from them. Service Insights provides essential tools to develop and manage distributed applications and solutions. To learn more about it, go to particular.net slash service insight. And as always, you are welcome to contact us. We at Particular Software are eager to learn more about your needs and ideas, and we would appreciate your feedback. Thank you.